Lost some party. What? Is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. What? He stole my trinkets? Uh, I don't think he took ones I care about. That's scary. Dinglebert is still needing stress healing. What are we doing this week? Ooh. One horrid shrieker. No thanks. I'm not doing champion runs in the cove right now. Why are there champion runs here? That looks amazing. Wish I had a plague doctor. Forty percent blight skill chance on a grave rubber. Sort of interesting. So I just like blight stuff. <laughs> There's only one, right? It's just poison darts. I killed a Shrieker. We've reached the part in the game where I have to look up what things do. Here we go. Fear of mankind. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Ruins phobe doesn't seem great, though. Give me this guy. What better laboratory than the blood soaked battlefield? Um, both of these require negative perks pulled off them before they can really take off. I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we want to get rid of Fear of Mankind and Ruins Phobe. On guard seems really good on a Plague Doctor for the first round stun before the back rank gets to do anything. Speed 8. I'm going to pay a little extra gold and get both. What else is going on here? I'm gonna send some sort of level three dungeon party. Several times in a row, probably. My options are Sniper's Ring, Sacred Scroll again, Heaven's Hairpin. This is long and generally giving me better stuff. I think that we can handle Long Dungeon. I feel like every single week I'm 
getting more out of attempting a long dungeon than I am out of attempting a short or medium. Going to the Warrens. I don't remember what the Warrens needs. Bleed. Probably wants bleed. Warrens, phobe. Uh oh. Sure, we don't care about a single one of any of those. All right. I'm going to bring my scurvy guy. And a grave robber. With snuff box, Warren's phobe, Warren's explorer. She'll be fine. It's only level three. Weak to bleed. You Romans. It's a really fun game. Should we bring the Houndmaster who is about to become obsessed with killing? Or perhaps another Hellion. Chatwood, Godfaring, or also a Warren's phobe. Uh, I don't feel like that will be a problem for these guys right now though. Lynx, thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting the stream, Lynx. Better for the bleed debuff. It's all good. We're getting close ish to being able to upgrade the stagecoach again. Um, you can pray, you can meditate, but a jester really enjoy meditating, like really, I doubt it. Doesn't seem like his thing. Get rid of Dachnomia. Any of these matter? Let's do speed. I really like speed on people who are applying dots. Wait. I don't have a lot of gold at the moment. But I guess we'll do a long level 3 dungeon and that will help. And I need lots of beads and crests. Gives me 12. Trinket. So she's going to have 27, 44, 64 dodge plus another 30. So she's going to have 94 dodge when things are attacking her. Okay. 
I hope to someday be able to remember what stuff I'm meant to bring to what places. Is anti-venom good here? This is the one where anti-venom is good, right? Because there's all the like gross food carts and things. We'll go something like that. Uh, camping skills. You. Yeah, we'll be okay. I'm not gonna sell stuff to get protection from night ambush. I think we can just fight it. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. That looks like a large dungeon. We have to explore 90% of rooms. Seems like we can just go room, 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 like that. That's the plan. Wealth beyond measure. Hardy is set up the wrong way. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. Wow. Where's my secret room? Ooh. We got the flubber rub 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 thing. And the swine marcher. Destroy. He's dead. Uh, I have to... my abilities on my grave robber 70% stun resist not enough hey Dungzinski how's it going Dungzinski is posting in John Rip's chat Plus 27 dodge? Jeez. What a weak ability. trying to click my mouse there. I wasn't trying to take that action, but it worked. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I don't remember which ones we were carrying about. The two on the right, which are crests and scrolls. Only the right. strength to follow it. And a big swine tor. Obliterated. Got a new good finale so far this dungeon. I didn't fix. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Didn't fix my grave robber's skills though. Nor did I put her in the right place for this fight.
He's over there now. Oh, because he's, like, going to charge me next. Hmm. Right. Well, it's, uh, unfortunate. It's also going to bleed for, like, 7,000. Get everybody on full health for the oncoming charge. Decided to attack the person who has 70 plus dodge. Good thinking. Percent damage plus 10 accuracy and 5 crit until camping, and it cures status effects. 15 damage, 10 accuracy, and 5% crit. Uh, that seems like something I'd put on my grave robber. Whose abilities I'm going to fix real quick. So my grave robber is the person who's actually... Yeah. My grave robber is the person who's actually dealing damage with abilities. Everyone else is mostly applying dots. Except the jester. Uh, sometimes. And the Vestal is just healing. Keep going this way. Do we care about this Curio? Grab it later. Anybody reading? Oh. Good work. Excellent work, me. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I really enjoy this game's atmosphere too. Uh, I also look forward to someday modding all of it out so that I can just play the game without having to wait for ten seconds every round while the narrator says things and my characters perform silly maneuvers. Fun cannot be allowed to interfere with gameplay. Good stuns. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. So we're still debuffed for a round or two in this combat. Should we just walk backwards? And then forwards? Okay. I should probably do that just in general. I thought that it would take me for a bunch of stress to do that, but clearly it did not. 
Uh, these guys all bleed pretty well. I want this guy bleeding, and then we yop next round. How quickly the time turns. <laughs> I've never seen that mod saint, but I would play with it for uh, at least 30 minutes before I uninstalled it again. He's still not dead. Oh well. Neither are you. Masterfully now he's dead. Thank you bleed. Lucky. The slow death. Is that what I was recognizing these guys from? Forgiving. It's been a while since I played a Duke Nukem game. My micro just isn't up to what this game demands of you. I was planning to jab the swine spawn, but failed, obviously. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Who do you prefer? Sweater Bradford or Rugged Bradford? So she should be going pretty sand, but she can't kill him. But she can stun him. Okay. We sort of want to stay in this combat for another turn to let the bleed ticks wear off and keep healing. That worked perfectly. Will not die next turn? I was bleed ticked off. I thought that he was dying next turn. Either way, we should go before him and just be able to kill him. 90% to hit. Continually okay. onslaught. Destroy them all. Good night, Waggle Plus. Cloak is intriguing. Should I camp? Hm, <laughs> great scout ping. It's better than Swift Cloak. I seem to have five keys. Just saying. Just an observation. <laughs> Let's walk around a little bit. This can remove a negative perk. No, it can. Okay, you want to just leave this alone? I'm going to let the light 
die down and camp over here. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Uh, ditch my shovels. I think we'll be okay in this dungeon. Like, there's an obstacle here, but we can just go around it. We have good enough scouting, I think, to be okay. I'm missing out on scouting things, though. Right? Because they don't have bright light, yeah. Which is potentially stopping me from finding the secret room. I'm going to camp here. Gathered close in I'm going to feast. An uneasy companionship. I'm going to take plus 30% scouting chance. Snuff box somebody. you sharpen our spear pilfer great and courage you there you go now you extra have zero stress as the light gains purchase spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear Pile of Bones likes holy water, which I do not have anymore. I Mechanical scouted that and then walked into it. Evil intent. All the pigs with the skull torsos. Every single skull torso pig at once. We walked in on a skull torso pig convention, in fact. Give them no quarter. Need a damaging ability from second rank on the Vestal. Dunsinski, you sound like... Never mind. I can't say that I'm public. emerald here. Maybe we can get lots of emeralds. Maybe. Seems like sort of a fool's errand. Seems like there are too many different types of stones. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Good. Daggers at this guy until he dies. Ouch. 
I wonder if I actually have to put my grave robber on position two and start out by giving her dodge in the first round. Dead next turn. I would like for you to die. Oh, you're like standing right in front of me now. That's nice of you. Also, his corpse is bleeding. I guess a common state for corpses. I wish that I didn't get the Vestal trinkets early. Vestals are so lame compared to cultists. I think I'm in a cultist, man. But I didn't really get to make the decision because my Vestal trinkets were so strong. If I give this medicine, it will give me stuff, right? Yeah, it'll give me food and gold slash supplies. So I could I could eat some of this. Check it out. Go here. Give it this. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. And I end up putting me out ahead on the deal. I don't know, Vestals just don't... I'm not playing them right, so maybe it's unfair to them. I should really have... literally any... Um, literally any damaging ability on them in position 2. Secret room. Where is my secret room? Where are my balls, dungeon? I don't think I've ever hated occultists. I just didn't really have one at the start of the game. never gotten to enjoy them. Okay, finally I can flashing daggers. I've been waiting the entire dungeon to get a flashing daggers to hit two things. Perhaps I should stop using finale on the third or second guy. Using it on the first guy just sucks though. Like my Vestal just heals 28 every round but doesn't actually heal anything. That round was a perfect encapsulation of what my vestals are doing. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I 
Vomit on me. Can you imagine how much, like, control of your digestive organs you would have to have to use vomit as an attack? That would be, like, very impressive. I guess I could have just used Breakthrough and killed it, probably. Ah, uh, maybe not quite. Whoops. Precipitates a dizzying fall. Needed beads, if I remember right. That was pretty fortunate. Keep Vestals in position three and four, and not use Finale as your opener. The problem is that it's so good at one-shotting stuff, and by the time that you hit turn two... It's just like, it's such a high variance ability, I just want to know what my finale is doing so that I can make correct decisions with my other abilities. If I don't know what my finale is doing, like... Whoops. The abilities that I actually choose to use may be wrong because I don't realize that somebody's about to be dead or somebody's like actually still on full health. In Radiance, may we find victory. We can get by without this food at this point. Running out of torches. Okay, so this fight, I'm gonna finale the front guy. So that I have people in position two and three to flashing daggers. Is that even better than just lunging though? I think if I lunge here, then my vessel can deal damage to that. They're not surprised. That's quite unreasonable. Yeah, that turn felt good. They seem very disinterested in becoming stunned for me. Precision okay, but still capable of dying. I can respect that. I'm gonna run out of torches, so Dazzling Light seemed like a good idea. Also, I have no idea why this won't get stunned. 
There it was. The ground quakes. Success so clearly in view. I want another stack of gold. A trick of the light. In place of bandages, maybe. I'm just gonna chuck it out for whatever's in this. I don't want to camp just yet. Check out the emerald instead. I'm gonna let my torch burn down. Go. Let's go over here. Year at least. A handsome reward for a task I don't well have to. Fun. I don't have to explore this room ever, so we can just go here. I don't have nearly as much left as I thought I did. I want to camp now. The reason I want to camp now is so I can just keep torchlight full for the rest of the rest mission. Of a chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. And there was no reason to press that button. Whoops. Also, I can't defend against nighttime ambush, right? Also, whoops. I'm sure nobody has a disease. Um, we're trying to find the secret room with a scouting ping right now. Is the point. Go 10 accuracy and 5 crit on the grave robber. Okay. We are not in the right positions. Show me something good. No. Too bad. Might not get the secret room this time around. I feel like we had good scouting on this too. That's too bad. So I want to kill this guy without crit income though. I mean, I appreciate the effort, I guess. Let him attack me this turn, but then next turn he's going to be stunned. Not even really worth healing or stress. I'm just going to get a crit at some point and it'll go away. Lunch him, and that's the battle. These nightmarish creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. Ooh, that gives me lots of buffs. So I still have the debuff on. A whoops.
Right. Uh, I was going to yop, but apparently I can't. Be able to next turn. Gonna judge this guy and trust that my grave robber goes first and hits some good daggers. Oh, she can't from that position. Good play, me. Not sure how we're going to kill the pig. Okay, let this bleed. Well, okay, if I crit it, it just dies. That gets it in third position, though. Now the Hellion can kill it. Pretty sure she's allowed to use that ability in first position. First position sounds like something I would say to somebody learning music. I taught piano for a little while. Back in the day, hands in first position, thumbs on middle C. I wonder if parents would pay for me to teach their children how to play Darkest Dungeon once I got good at it. is a slow and insidious killer. Um, I could chuck the torches, but I'm going to find something after this fight. I, I don't need the keys anymore, I don't think. I've also been a poker teacher, but I didn't teach children poker. That would have been... I think ethically questionable and I am certainly not an ethically questionable person. Let nobody tell you that. <laughs> what press? <laughs> I don't remember saying that one. It's purge a negative quirk. What shall we get rid of? Warren's foe. Paranormania. Okay. Take that too. So I can leave. I want to go here though. That's my last torch. And then we're also going to have room from food at the end of this fight. Unless we die on it. I feel like we'll be all right, though. Nice roll to stun.
I can't decide if I want to check my food out at the end of this. Large corpse eater. I wonder what the corpse eater species was before humans came. What did it use to subside on? The victory. Organic perhaps veg, perhaps? Okay. Didn't end up being a problem because I didn't actually get anything from that. There's the crushing guilt of deeds, real and imagined. I don't really know what that means. I'm sorry to hear it though. Scouting. No. All right, it's too bad. The twisting tunnels seem a little less impossible. Probably maggots enlarged by the evil eldritch horror from outside of time and space. Wow, I found a lot of crusts. Um, I found 60 crusts. And we got like the worst rolls ever. In town we'll never drink, in town we'll only drink. Great. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Dinglebert lost 1,000 gold after becoming overcome with emotion and donating generously. <laughs> Whoops. Silly Dinglebert. He's a sucker for those uh, charitable drives. Are there any bosses here? like a boss fight kill one swine king should be wait until there's a better trinket though kill one hard shrieker kill one necromancer lord i'm probably not doing a level five boss fight yet not until i become significantly more knowledgeable about what the fuck i'm doing uh i'm gonna wind up there for tonight each week sort of takes a while in this game, so I can't rub quite as close to dinner time when I'm playing it. I might play XCOM tomorrow. They felt very grindy. There was the mission where I lost two guys. But even that, it wasn't like... It was because I got marked and then crit three times in a row without being able to move. Yeah. So, I'm headed off for now. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate the support as always. I will be back tomorrow. I think I'm going to play XCOM 2. I'm not sure if I'm going to play the INI Edits campaign or the 1.2 campaign that was going really well. Work it out. I'll see you guys then. Good night, guys.